Welcome to another episode of That Thermal Guy. Today I'm going to do something that uh, I haven't done before. Um, I came up with a couple of mock-ups of different concepts. So I took a standard BDU blouse and put some material in one configuration, different material in the configuration. And again, standard BDU material, some material in one configuration, some material in another configuration. So I've got four different things to test while wearing a single outfit. Let's take a look. This is the folded layered burlap. This is the folded layered mesh this is just the bare BDU material and this is the pants they are wide strips of cloth I put one strip of hot glue material vertical straight up and down folded the strip in half and stuck it spaced about three inches and repeated and then overlapped and overlapped and overlapped it's just straight onto the BDU material as a quick test to see if this was even viable this is the comparison. This is straight BDUs. And then there is a base material of mesh. It's tan in color. Second material of mesh, which is that kind of OD green. And then netting over the top. And it's simply sewn in place. Pull it up and see the standard BDU material underneath. That's it. That's all this is. Very curious how this came out. Another look at the BDU material. You can see how I just created loops of the fabric. That's all it is, just loops along the edge and then dots of hot glue gun. And I did a glue strip here and a glue strip there and then I did dots here the rest is just loose and here's a close-up of the sleeve I just joined it up to the top again hot glue gun strip and the same folding of the fabric that I did with the green mesh this is just burlap you can see where it meets the BDU. Just hot glue gun right on there. That's the back side of the arm slash underside of the arm. But just loops of material. The idea was to create air pockets and hold the material away from the body since that seems to be the biggest culprit in heating. Here's the back side of the pants. See? Nothing special. There's no insulative lining. Just standard BDU pants. The netting is just sewn directly to the pants. Very simple, very loose, nothing fancy. Here's where you can see the start of the mesh. And again, the mesh is just loosely secured as the base layer. And then a second layer of this mesh material. Super thin, super fine. And then this nylon type netting material. That's all it is on that side. And over here, it's a closer up look at the material. And the strips of burlap. Just one long strip of burlap fold it in half with a hot glue line. 
So you got to see how the different materials looked. Um, let's take a look at how they perform the field. First we're going to do one that's fairly close up. This is at my garden gate. Um, and distance is about 20-30 feet. It's kind of cold out, about 35 degrees. Um, and uh, you can see how the different materials are adapting to that cold. I did stand outside for 10 minutes just to acclimate to it. Um, so without further ado, let's cut to the video. strips in a B formation glued sideways and BDU with multiple layers of mesh and netting. Nothing. All right, now we're going to take a look at these materials um, on a walk-off on my driveway. And I'm moving out to uh, roughly 35, 40 yards, somewhere in there. Uh, didn't bother to count off. It's getting really dark at this point. Um, you can see the white light camera is pretty much pointless now. Um, I just kept it in frame more to illustrate the, the thermal effects in the night. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's take a look. All right, now the big test. Uh, how did this do after being outdoors for 40 minutes, having acclimated fully to the weather conditions, and now I'm going to do a walk off to a full 250 yards. Um, and I'll do several turnarounds. Uh, remember on the walk off, you're seeing the rear of the materials, which has nothing on it. So I do look like a person. That's why you'll see me frequently turn around and kind of hold my arms out. So you can see how the materials are actually doing out there. And then I turn back around again and you can see the comparison without any materials. Again, there is no active thermal uh, masking in this. This is just the straight materials themselves. I'm not wearing insulated clothing, nothing like that. It's just a t-shirt and that's pretty much it, you know, underwear socks. So what you see is just what the materials are doing in combination with the BDUs. I'm not wearing any additional insulation at all underneath these. And remember, it is about 35 degrees outside, so any temperature variance is going to show really well on these thermal cameras.
All right, so we've come to the end of the video. What'd you think? I thought it was pretty interesting how well these materials held up. Now, on the burlap, it seemed to do really well in the arm, and I think it's because I truly folded it completely over. So the tie-in points are pretty much identical at each of the loops. So you have an entire loop of material pulled back up, and then it comes down. Entire loop of material pulled back up, and then it comes down. Whereas with the green mesh on the chest, you can see there's an entire section of about two inches where it's just single layered there. There's, there's not a, a full pull up. And I think that's why you saw those horizontal bars of heat on the chest, especially showing on that rainbow color palette. Because from here to here, there's two inches worth of, yeah, three inches worth of a loop uh, where you've got two fabrics overlaid. But from here to here, there's about an inch and a half where it's just a single layer of fabric. So I think that's where that horizontal heat bar is coming from. My guess is if I had pulled these loops up all the way to where this bottom loop, the bottom of this loop here terminated and brought the base up to here, I think it would eliminate those horizontal bands of heat. And honestly, where it's doubled up, I think that was pretty much the best. Um, I think that did the best job. So, I don't know, I'm very curious to see how well that would work. Um, down here near the bottom, you can see it's almost closed up and almost closed up. So I think the bottom of the jacket performed better than up here. Near the top, there's you now three inches worth of gap there. And when you're looking at the thermal video, you can clearly see those horizontal bars are higher on the chest. And the burlap, it did a fantastic job as well, but I think it's because of that completed loop pull up. Much better than I expected. So I'm gonna call that a success. I also felt that the burlap strips did much better than expected. Now, this is based off of um, some materials that I saw out in the real world um, being employed as anti-thermal materials. Now, they were using a thinner type material than burlap. They were actually using an Olcans type fabric -y material. They were using this stuff in thin strips in exactly the same configuration and glue on that I did with the burlap. I wanted to see if we could do a budget version of it and how well it would work. Um, but again, they just took long strips and glued them in horizontal lines coming straight off and then falling. And that pushed the material away from the body of the wearer and created this nice little overlap pattern. Um, I wasn't sure how well it would work with, you know, the non-fancy, radar-reflective, anti-thermal absorbent materials, which is why I tried burlap. So I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, I think if I combined this style with something thin and lightweight like this nylon netting material, it would probably be very effective as well. Um, on the whole, I'm, for a 35 degree environment, I'm gonna call these winds. And I, I think these patterns would work in real life. Remember, these are 640 thermal and 3D4 thermals. Um, they're, they're no joke. And that Pulsar is the Helion Pro XP50. It's, it's got an incredibly low net D. It's like sub 35 millikelvins. So um, the fact that it could essentially hide the signature of the rest of the body that wasn't... Um, yeah, you, know, you could see the part that didn't have anything on it, but the rest, it blended really well with the background. You could see the hands, you could see the unprotected side of the body, and you could see the head. But it did a good job. I'm actually very impressed, and I think this style warrants more investigation. Both the looping, only with completed full pull-up loops, and this vertical glue strip idea. So... Anyway, I hope you made it through the whole video, and uh, tell me what you think. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I, I hate doing this. I don't think I've ever actually asked for anybody to like and subscribe, but it does actually help draw people to the channel. 
And this is stuff I want to get out there. And I, I do this for everybody. Um, so if you could, please, yeah, thanks. All right, that's enough for me. Have a good day, y'all.